This video tutorial shows three PLs how Magaya software can help manage accounting. We'll see how Magaya's built-in connection between the accounting and logistics transactions helps streamline accounting tasks related to the receiving process. From the beginning of the process to the end, we looked at how to set up your system to automate the accounting and reduce the chance of mistakes. For example, options include setting up your system to determine how and when to create bills, setting payment terms, INCO terms, or credit limits for your customers in their profiles, and setting commissions for your salespeople. If you picked up items with your trucks, then you can add the charges to the order. If you use a third-party trucking company, you can generate the accounting for the freight rates and other charges directly in the pickup order. For the rest of this video, we'll focus on the accounting processes related to warehousing and storage. The software gives you ways to automatically create recurring invoices for your services. Then, the invoice gets created automatically for you each month for the customer and includes any new charges. First, check the option in the Accounting Configuration menu, Automatically Generate Recurrent Transactions. Next, create a recurring invoice template. Let me explain this step. We'll create a template that will be used each month or week, whatever you set up, to create the invoice. We're not creating the actual invoice yet. Go to the invoice list. Click Actions and select Recurrent Invoices. When the list of recurrent invoices open, click the Add button. A dialog box opens the Recurrent Transaction Wizard. This wizard will create a template for a new recurring invoice. All future invoices for this customer will be built on this. Every month, when the system automatically generates the recurring invoice for the customer, this template will be used. The date and charge amounts will be updated each month to reflect the new charges, while the other elements of the template, such as the customer's address, will be the same. You will not have to re-enter the information. If you need to change something such as the address in the future, you can edit the recurrent invoice using the Edit button. The first screen in the Recurrent Transaction Wizard contains the following options. Let's look at each field in detail. Enter the transaction number in the Number field. This is the number of this template, not the number of the invoice. The invoice will be generated at the moment that the invoice is automatically generated. Click on the Apply To drop-down menu to select the customer that will receive the recurrent invoice. The address displays automatically. To change it for this transaction, click the Change button. Select the account this transaction will refer to such as accounts receivable. For example, if your system handles more than one currency, there may be an AR for each currency. Select the one that applies to this customer. The transaction date is set automatically to today's date. Change it as needed. This is the date that you created this template. Click the Add button in the wizard screen to add a charge. A dialog box opens. Select the type of charge, such as storage fee, which is an income item. Enter an optional description. For tax code, select a tax code from the drop-down list if you have taxes set up in your system and if one applies to this charge. The quantity, units, such as pounds, and the price will be calculated by the system automatically each time the invoice is generated. A price can be added if you want to have a set charge not based on the cargo on hand. Click the OK button to save this charge and return to the wizard screen. Set the Paid As option to either prepaid or collect based on the terms of the agreement for this recurring invoice. Click the Next button to go to the next screen in the wizard. The next screen in the wizard enables you to set the frequency of the invoice. Select the start date. Today's date is filled in automatically. Change it as needed. This is the date that the system will begin generating these invoices. You may create the invoice template to begin invoicing the customer starting next week, for example. Next week's date will be used in the invoice. You can also set up retroactive recurrent invoices by using a past date. 
Set the end date or check never ends if the service is continuous. For the generate field, select the frequency that you want to generate the invoice. If you select monthly, also select the day of the month. If you select the 31st, the system will default to the 30th for months that do not have 31 days. If you select weekly, the invoice will be generated on Fridays. Enter the number of days before the date of transaction to create the recurrent transaction. Select the next day. You can charge the customer in advance by clicking on the checkbox. It is unchecked by default. When charging monthly in advance, the customer is paying for that whole month in advance. The checkbox for on-hand cargo in the warehouse is used for fees. The box is unchecked by default. Checking the box activates the fields below it. Use this option to calculate the field on the invoice based on the amount of the cargo on hand for the client. The price will be calculated based on the tariff you set up. In this example, it is for storage. If you want to give a customer some free days before charging for services such as storage to encourage quick movement of cargo, add the number of days in the days field amount of days before. Other options are generate a separate charge per line item. The number of charged lines in the resulting invoice will be the same as the number of charged lines in the related warehouse receipt. This is useful to itemize oversized cargo. Calculate charges based on the smallest packing unit. If unchecked, the price will be calculated by pallet. If the cargo is repacked in pallets, the price will be calculated based on the items inside the pallet. You can also disable the recurring transaction by clicking in the disable box. Click the finish button. The recurring invoice template is now added to the list of recurrent invoices. On the first day of the month, or preset day, a new invoice will be created for that customer. The invoice appears in the invoices list. You can also save an existing invoice as recurring by clicking on the actions button when you are in the document view of the invoice. The wizard opens. Fill in the fields as explained before. You can also save an existing invoice as recurring when you are in the invoices list. Right click on the invoice and select Save as Recurrent from the pop-up menu. If you used your Magaya system for the other steps such as the purchase orders and pickup orders, then the information in those transactions is easy to carry over into the warehouse receipts. After receiving and putting away items, you can create charges for all the other tasks involved such as the freight if you didn't do it earlier in your workflow. To set up a recurring storage charge for an item, go to the Items and Services list. By default, Magaya has a storage fee for income and a storage cost for expense. We will edit the storage fee. Click on the Tariff button. A dialog box opens. Please note that the tariff will be calculated in the currency that is selected in the Items and Services on the Definition tab. The tariff can be applied by pieces, weight, volume, time, value, and calculated. All the apply by options except calculated are single variable tariff calculations. The calculated option is a multi-variable tariff calculation. Please note that time in the apply by field is calculated between the time the cargo arrived at the warehouse, which is the warehouse receipt creation date, and the time the cargo left the warehouse, which is the cargo release or shipment creation date. We will look at an example using apply by volume. Next to the field, you can choose the measurement for volume. You can set a minimum price and a maximum price. In the rate per field, you can select by unit or by range. When using unit, you can enter how many measurement units to charge by. In the below table, you can add volume thresholds with rates. Just click the add button to add as many volume lines as you want. In this example, we have a minimum of 50 US dollars or $3 per cubic foot whichever is greater. When finished, 
Click the OK button. The automatic creation tab in the storage fee applies globally for the entire system. If you would like automatic creation for specific customers, you'll need to go to Maintenance, Customers, and set up automatic creation there. To enable automatic creation, click the Enable Automatic Creation for checkbox and select the transactions you would like the storage fee to be automatically created on. Is this charge dependent on another? If so, check the box here. There are a few other key accounting options to touch on. You can also send invoices to LiveTrack so your customers can pay online. Right click the customer name and select it from the menu. You will need to have this option activated for your Magaya system. You also have the option to export accounting data out of your Magaya system to QuickBooks or Peachtree, now known as Sage. The procedure is explained in the Magaya knowledge base found in your page 1, the welcome screen in your software. Be sure to check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Be sure to see our other videos in the 3PL series or contact our training and implementation department to optimize your use of the software specifically for your business. Thank you.